The tortoise and the hare. The hare and the tortoise were neighbors. Hare was always in a hurry, rushing from one important task to another. He was so fast and busy that sometimes he could barely remember where he was going. Tortoise, on the other hand, plodded steadily along. He didn't go to many different places in a day, but he always got to where he needed to be. One day, Tortoise was walking slowly along the road when Hare sped past him. Hare looked over his shoulder and called out, Hurry up, Tortoise! You'll never get there! I will, Tortoise said calmly. I will. Slow, but steady. Hare turned back and ran around Tortoise three times, laughing. Then he ran on. Half an hour later, Hare came back. Tortoise was still going in the same direction, and he hadn't gotten very far. Hare laughed. You're so slow, he said. How do you ever get anywhere? Look, Tortoise said, one step at a time, one foot after the other, slow but steady. You're hopeless, Hare said. It will take you all day just to get to the end of the road. At last, Tortoise was too cross to ignore Hare any longer. I get everywhere I want to go, he said, and if you don't believe me, I'll challenge you to a race. You can pick the route, the day, and the time. Hare laughed until he fell over. He rolled around on the floor, tears running along his whiskers. A race, he gasped. Between you and me? That's ridiculous! You don't stand a chance! Are you scared? Tortoise asked. Because if not, let's do it. Hare could hardly stop laughing, but they arranged the race for the next day and asked Fox, Fox to judge it. They would start from an old oak tree and race all the way to the river. Tortoise set out early that evening so that he would be at the start line on time in the morning. Hare went home for a long sleep and got up late. He ran to the oak tree and found Tortoise ready and waiting. All the other animals had come out to watch. Fox is waiting for you at the river, Bear said. We can start whenever you're ready. Hare and Tortoise got into position. On your marks, said Tortoise. Get set, said Hare. Go, shouted all the animals. And off went the tortoise and the hare. Hare sprinted ahead, bounding along the path. Tortoise lifted one foot and put it down. Then he lifted the other foot and put it down. Slowly, slowly. By the time Tortoise reached the first bush, Hare was a tiny spot in the distance. By the time he reached the second bush, Hare was nowhere to be seen. After a few minutes, Hare could see the river ahead. He paused and looked around. He couldn't see Tortoise at all. He is so slow, he laughed to himself. He won't be here for hours. I might as well have a rest. So Hare sat down under a tree not far from the finish line. The sun was warm, and the lazy buzz of bees visiting the flowers around him was soothing. Soon, Hare dozed off. Back along the path, Tortoise kept on, slow but steady, one step at a time, one foot after the other. After an hour, Hare woke up and peered into the distance. He could just see Tortoise coming toward him slow but steady, and still far away. He's so slow, Hare said to himself. He won't be here for hours. I might as well go back to sleep. And that's just what he did. Tortoise kept on, slow but steady, his heavy shell wobbling along the path. Hare slept on in the hot sun. When Hare woke up, he couldn't see Tortoise anywhere. Where has he gone, he said. He won't be here for hours. I'm sure I could just go back to sleep. But it was late afternoon and the sun was low in the sky. I'm sick of this race, he said to himself. I should finish so I can go home and nap in my own bed. And he sprang up 
and ran as fast as he could to the finish line. Tortoise was waiting for him by the river. Where have you been? asked Tortoise. I've been here for hours. You are so, are so slow. Hare tried to explain, but neither Tortoise nor Fox would listen. But I'm faster, Hare complained. It's not fair. The rules were simple, Fox said. Tortoise won. The race was to see to get here first. Tortoise smiled, not to run fastest. Slow and steady wins the race. And slowly, steadily, he turned around to begin his journey home. The end.